In this video, we're gonna talk about hormonal health and weight loss. Now, maybe you didn't know that hormonal health and weight loss were connected, or maybe you've been struggling with both. We're gonna give you several strategies and tips to support you in achieving hormonal health and weight loss in this video coming up. My name is Dr. Lisa Lewis. I'm a naturopathic doctor and I'm an acupuncturist, a wellness expert, and so many people come to me with hormonal health challenges or weight loss challenges. I think most are coming with both. The people say, I've, I've changed my diet, I've taken out everything I can possibly take out, I don't eat any more wheat, <laughs> I don't, no dairy. I eat vegetables all the time, I'm exercising like crazy, and I, I'm still gaining weight. Or they've done so amazing on their weight loss journey, and then all of a sudden they get to a certain weight, and it stops, their weight loss stops, they plateau. There's a huge connection between hormonal health and weight loss. Now the challenge is that, number one, most people don't recognize the two are connected. Most people think that they can just work their way, work out their way, you know, through, through weight loss, or they can starve themselves or change their diet through weight loss. But if your hormones are out of balance, it's going to be very difficult to lose weight. There's so many hormones that are connected to how your body is able to either lose weight or maintain a healthy weight. Now the belly fat, that, that fat that is stored around the belly, is, is, it can be pretty dangerous fat. Technically, if it's um, deposited inside and in between and around your organs, it's called visceral fat. And it, it really helps to increase your, the incidence of stroke, diabetes, heart disease, I mean, so many significant challenges related to excess, excess weight around the belly and especially around the organs. Now, some of the conditions, uh, physical, some female challenges and female conditions that are related to hormonal weight gain, especially are PCOS, polycystic ovarian syndrome, and that's when testosterone tends to be a lot higher um, and estrogen and progesterone a little bit lower. Um, but your body tends to uh, gain weight, especially with PCOS. And for m women who've had their ovaries removed, like um, women who've had hysterectomies along with uh, the, the uterus and the ovaries have been removed, then they tend to gain weight quickly, especially around the belly. The body's trying to store estrogen and it's going to store that estrogen again in the belly. <laughs> Have I said that enough? Um, it's going to store the estrogen right around the midsection and, um, and it can happen very, very quickly. So that hormonal imbalance of uh, going into menopause quickly because you've had a hysterectomy or had your ovaries removed really contributes significantly to um, weight gain. So we've talked about the causes of hormone imbalance and weight gain. We talked about PCOS, uh, hysterectomy and ovarian um, ovary removal. All of these things can contribute to weight gain. So if you are running on that treadmill, <laughs> exercising like crazy, eating very little, <laughs> practically starving yourself for eating an amazing diet, and you're still gaining weight, or at least you can't lose weight, I encourage you to look at your hormones and, and get tested to understand what hormones are out of balance so that you can achieve your weight loss goals a lot faster. I have a nice gift for you, a free gift in the a description of information of how to balance your hormones, so I encourage you to download that and subscribe because we're gonna have tons more videos about hormonal health coming in the future. So I look forward to being able to support you in balancing your hormones and with losing weight <laughs> easily 
more efficiently. And, um, and I'll see you in the next video.